Good morning, people. So it is Wednesday, October 18th, I believe, 2017. It is 8.37 in the morning. We're like seven minutes behind schedule, but we're still ahead for the time we need to be there. The time we need to be where? Carowinds, he's like still half asleep. Lakeland has been cast in a Carowinds commercial. It is about a two and a quarter hour drive. You will not be seeing this for a very long time from this date. Um, we won't be able to post this until the commercial actually airs, which I don't think will be until the end of winter, beginning of spring, because it is a summer commercial. Although it is 42 degrees right now, it will warm up, but he will be shooting in shorts and a t-shirt. So hopefully it gets a lot warmer. There's no chance of rain. So that's the one good thing. So, well, actually there's more than one good thing. He gets paid to ride rides. He's, the excitement is really contained right now. He's really doing an awesome job. He's acting great. He's, you know, that actor is coming out in him because he's controlling his enthusiasm. Or it could be he's still half asleep. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make it five miles down the road and he was back asleep. So we are a little over an hour into the drive. It is 947. We have had no food this morning. So I have stopped at, can y'all see back there? Can you, can you, can you? at mcdonald's um, i like the fact that they have large drinks for a dollar and we like their biscuits so we're gonna grab two biscuits use the potty and get back on the road my navigation system says we're supposed to arrive at 10 39 but we will be here for a few minutes, so we'll see what it says afterwards. Actually, I will be here inside for a few minutes. I'm gonna guess he's gonna stay just like, like yeah, <laughs> I'll hook him up. He's gonna stay just like that until I bring the food out. Are you tired? Are you excited? You know you're messing up the back of your hair. <laughs> he's like, I don't care. So I did good. So this says arrival will be 1047 now. Um, I got an egg and cheese biscuit and he decided he didn't want food. He just wanted a Sprite. So I now have my caffeine. We're going to hit the road. Hey Lakeland, wake up and look out. You can, I didn't realize we were this close already, but you could actually see the, some of the coasters. Well, on the other side of this building. Like as soon as we got on to 77. Oh, nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, as soon as we got on to 77, we're getting ready to get off. So just a minute ago, I attempted to wake Lakeland up. Not working. <laughs> so actually I stopped at a 7-Eleven real quick, which is right by the entrance of Carowinds. You can see one of the coasters here. And fun fact is that Carowinds, the Carowinds Amusement Park, half of it is in North Carolina and half of it is in South Carolina. Yep. Fun, total cool fact. So here is the actual entrance to Carowinds, which as you can see right now, it has an S on the front because it's called Scarowinds. Because in October, it is only opened on weekends because it gets pretty cold here in North Carolina in October. So during the winter, the park's not open, but for just the weekends, you've got like a haunted Carowinds, hence Scarowinds. And look who's waking up with the funky hairdo. 
Yeah, and you're gonna have to probably spit in your hand again. So we have arrived and Lakeland is trying to fix his uh, huge like cowlick that developed while he was sleeping. Better? <laughs> I guess so. It still looks a little funky, but when we get into a bathroom, you can fix it. So, we have one bag here full of, like, things to do. Um, and plus things like his folder for all his casting, I mean, all his work permit, things like that. And, okay, and then we have his garment bag here with all of his, um, change of clothes or their choices, basically. They're gonna, we had to have bring lots of options. Don't, don't drag it. It's pretty heavy for a garment bag. All right, I guess I'm responsible for these. are going to be able to see very well because it's so dark in here. This is our holding area. Lakeland just grabbed a whole thing of fruit. That's a pretty big thing of fruit. That looks good, doesn't it? Um, so we are just waiting to go to wardrobe um, to see what clothes they're going to fix. Pick. And this is what we are doing while we are waiting. We're doing a little science. He's thrilled. The advantage of homeschooling. You get to homeschool on set. Again, he's totally thrilled. Okay, now he's resorted to drawing people. He does pretty good, don't y'all think? Comment below. Oops, let me get a little clearer shot. I think he's doing a good job. Let's see, turn it this way. Y'all can actually see him. Oh, there we go. Except now his hand's in the way. He's doing good. Okay, so just tell me who you accidentally drew that he didn't realize. He just, when he was done, almost done, he's like, who does this look like? Tell me. Donald Trump. He says he accidentally drew Donald Trump. <laughs> Lunch is chicken quesadilla and some broccoli salad with some sour cream. Winterfest and Carolyn's and look, 
They're decorating the gift shop. I've been watching them put it up. It's pretty cool. It's so eerie. It's deserted. A park that's not open. All right, it's dinner time. Um, I'm not sure if I even told you. Lakeland never even got to touch his lunch, which he'll probably eat now. But we do have some chicken and beans and alfredo. And we're actually eating, and I think it's called Harmony Hall, which is their quick service, which is really cool because normally when you're on set, um, you get catered, but they already have their food here, so that's awesome. Now it's time to charge my phone with my Disney World fuel rod. Look, they have these huge cookies. Look at the size of my hand. So anyway, they're actually the cookies they sell um, in this quick service, Harmony Hall, if you're ever here. All right, last shot of the evening. It's starting to get dark. Lake one's all bundled up because it's chilly. He has to shed the jacket though because it's supposed to be summertime in the shot. But he's getting cold. Okay, yeah, planes fascinate me. I just don't like riding in them. All right, it is about eight o'clock and they are setting up for the last shot. what a mom of an actor does a child actor model whatever sits down in the cold with her book and reads and just waits and they just yelled that's a wrap and kids are very excited and I like seriously want one of these buggies you can't really tell, but there's a coffin in there. This is so cool. Anyway, it's been a long, long day. It is now almost 10 o'clock at night, and we got here at 11. Blake hunts in the bathroom, changing into jeans. Since it's so cold, we have our stuff, and we're going to go out and wait for the golf cart to get our ride back to the uh, exit of the park. Boy, it took him long enough. Anyway, this was our holding area. Most people have already went out. But we had to get our voucher signed. And let's go. So I want to show you this little model that they have in here. Um, in Harmony Hall, like I said, it's like their quick service. Oh, I forgot they had a railroad, a train. And now we are waiting for a golf cart to take us back to the exit because they don't want us walking around and it's so far away from where we are. And they can only fit five people on a golf cart. So it's going to be a while. Okay, you notice how everybody has suitcases? That's because you have to bring many, many changes of clothes just in case. <laughs> We're on a golf cart. We're on a golf cart. Can you hear that we're on a golf cart? All right, we have been dropped off. We're actually like where employees come in. Um, because like, this is wardrobe right here. We're heading out. It is so cold. I bet it, it's definitely in the 40s. What do you think, Lakeland? He doesn't know. <laughs> it's cold. That's all he knows is it's cold. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that sign. Probably not. But it says Carowinds Camp Wilderness Resort. It's been like, gosh, eight years? More than that. Maybe close to ten since I've been to Carowinds. So, I was not aware of a camp wilderness resort. Hmm. My hands are frozen. Are your hands frozen? It could be because I'm actually like carrying a cold drink, which I really don't need. So but am I. Oh yeah, you do have a Powerade. It's not that cold, but it's still cold. All right, we're almost to the car. Thank goodness. So I was wrong on the temperature. Oh, rough day. <laughs> um, it's actually 51 degrees. It's warmer than I thought. So Lakeland and I were like, why is there so many kids here? Like, they cast so many kids and very few adults, which made no sense because kids come to amusement parks with family. So, where were the adults? It just made, like, no sense. Like, the first filming, the first shot he did was an indoor attraction and only kids went in. Like, this makes no sense. 
Well, I found out from a lighting guy what the commercial actually is. And what? this is going to make sense. So do you notice when they first did the, when y'all were walking in, the first filming, that the main, the principal actors were a husband, a man, a wife, and two kids. No, yeah, I know. And then they have like the smaller version of them. Yeah, the smaller version. Because yeah. the whole premise of the commercial is that you go, you're an adult, and once you go into the park, you instantly turn into a kid. When did you realize that they were, the other two kids were playing smaller versions of the adults? Immediately. They were wearing the exact same thing. Well, <laughs> so, it, and then well, you saying? really, you were closer to see what was going on. I wasn't, the parents weren't as close. We were kind of off in the distance a little bit. We could kind of see what was going on. But yeah, I did notice that like one boy and one girl had on similar outfits of the adults. Um, so that made a lot more sense now that yeah. I know that that is the premise. So um, the commercial, it's good. Basically, they come in, they turn into kids and these other two kids play them as the adults as ki as kids yeah the adults turned into kids and when they leave the park they turn into adults again okay it is now 10 30. we got here at 11 a.m we have over a two hour drive and i have to get gas so we're off now so it's 12 51 in the morning and i'm going to bed Thank you for keeping up with our Carolyn's adventure. Uh. Something by...